Today I'm going to do a review and tear down of this Ross Moss 40,000 milliamp hour USB power bank. This is a very popular power bank from Amazon. How does it perform as a power bank? And is it really 40,000 milliamp hour inside this power bank? And what kind of battery is inside this power bank? That's what we're gonna find out in this video. The first thing that strikes me about this power bank is the size and the weight of this power bank. It's as big as a brick and it's quite heavy. 920 grams to be exact or exactly two pounds. Here is the specs of the power bank. The input is five volt two amps or nine volts at two amps. This is 40 amp hour. So it's going to take a whopping 20 hours to fully charge this battery at 5 volt, Or about 10 hours to fully charge this battery at 9 volts. And that's if it performs as advertised. We're going to figure this out and test this in a minute. The output is 5 volt 3 amps, 9 volt 2 amps, or 12 volt 1 and a half amps. It doesn't have a 20 volt output. What that means is it's not going to power or charge your laptop computer because most laptop computer runs at 20 volts and we're also going to try this on a laptop computer in a minute or so let's take a look at the USB inputs and outputs we got USB regular USB input this is for slow charging this is USB C input and output these are just regular USB output on the top, we have a small screen that shows the percentage of the battery. Let's plug it in and see how long it actually takes to charge it. And we're charging at 1.4 amps. I have a 2 amp charger here and usually it puts out about 2 amps. But in this case, only 1.4 amp going to the battery. So I don't know if this is throttle down the charging rate because it's reaching 80% or more or because it only takes 1.4 amp maximum to the USB port. But nevertheless in this case you take 40 divided by 1.4 that's a whopping 28 and a half hours to fully charge battery from 0%. This can also be charged by the USB-C port and it should be faster Let's try the USB output on this device and see how fast they charge. The first one is this one here with the uh, black connector. I'm going to use this to charge another USB power bank. So let's plug it in. All right, it's charging at 0.76 amp. That is pretty low. Less than 1 amp. Now let's try the second USB port here. This one is green. And we're charging at even a lower rate. 0 0.7 amps. The previous one is 0 0.75 amps. This one is 0 0.7 amps. <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. Let's plug it in. We're charging at 9 volts. 1.8 amps. Almost 17 watts. So it only accepts 9 volts and not 12 volts. And that is a bit slow. At 17 watts, it's going to take a whopping... 148 divided by 17. Almost 9 hours to fully charge this battery from completely empty. Because this battery is 148 watt hour. And what happened if I plug in my laptop? Is it going to charge my laptop or at least power the laptop? It's only one way to find out. You can see it's running at 12 volt, but the output is 0 amps. And the uh, laptop is not being charged. 
The next thing I want to do is to tear down this power bank and show you what's inside this power bank. It looks like it's completely sealed on this side, on the top side of the power bank. There is a small cover on the back here and I think this is the only part where you can open up the power bank. Let's try and peel this out without killing myself because usually this part is pretty bloody. It seems to come out by just prying it up. I can see the lithium ion cell right below it, very close. So I've got to be extremely careful not to poke a hole in it otherwise I'm gonna be on fire almost there it's coming out yeah it's coming out Yes! Okay, so we got some silicone glue on the top cover. This glue is not very sticky and it comes out very easily. And that's a very good thing. And that is your lithium ion cell, 3.7 volts, 10,000 milliamp hour. There's going to be four of these in here. Let's see if I can just pry this out. Another cringe worthy moment. Well, that's not what to do. I better use a piece of plastic. It's safer. Stubborn. When in doubt, use heat. I'm going to heat up this side of the battery. Hopefully, it will be easier for me to remove. Should be hot enough now. Let's see what's up. Oh yeah. Very easy to come out. Come on. It's coming out. Yes. Just a little bit of heat get the job done. You can see the bottom cover also has some silicone. Yep, these are silicone, not double-sided tape. That makes my job a lot easier. Because double-sided tape is really a pain to remove. Here is the battery. Four batteries stacked in parallel. That's the piece of silicone on the bottom cover. Very easy to come out. Let me show you something as a comparison. This is an anchor 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. And look at the battery. This is a single cell. It is a lot smaller than the Romos. The thickness is exactly the same but the size is a lot smaller wow you can see it's shorter and the width is also smaller i would say the row moss battery is probably one and a half time bigger than the anchor 10,000 milliamp hour so wow looks very promising here is where the battery pack is connected in parallel. Four of these cells are taped together by double-sided tape. And removing this is quite challenging and quite dangerous. So I'm going to use my heat gun and heat up the cell just enough because too much heat is going to destroy the battery. I just need it to be warm enough. Warm, not hot. And when it's warm, it'll be a lot easier 
to remove. Now that it's warm, I'm using a credit card and slide it between the cells. See how easy it is to go in there when it's warm. Nice and warm in there. Yep. Slowly going in when it's warming up. You can see I can wiggle it now. Yes! There we go. By the way, I already desolder the terminals and remove it out of the solder here before I try to pull it out. So you have to do this first. Let's do a weight comparison. I've got an anchor 10,000 milliamp hour power bank here. This is also 10,000 milliamp hour cell that I salvage from another aftermarket power bank. And this is the Romos 10,000 milliamp hour cell. So let's compare by weight. And because they are the same type and the same chemistry, the more weight, the more capacity. So let's go with the anchor first. 152 gram for the anchor. One hundred and seventy seven for an aftermarket power bank. And let's try the row moss. One ninety two. So there you go. It's the biggest and the heaviest and hopefully is the highest capacity. The only way to find out is to do a capacity test. I pulled out one cell and I have charged it to full 100%. Let's go ahead and do a discharge test. And we'll discharge it at 1 amp. Alright, this is going to take a while. Alright, it's been about 10 hours and it is finished. Let's check this out. 9 hours 41 minutes and discharge is done. Current voltage is 3.28 volts and the capacity 9629 milliamp hour. That is very close to 10,000 milliamp hour. In fact, it's about 96%. That's amazing. So, to sum up, if now this doesn't perform well as a power bank, but the battery inside is very good and it's good for a lot of other projects if you need pouch cell batteries. And that's all for now folks. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.